your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, yeah, a lot of people ready for pool season, Memorial Day. We're getting there. Love me some Point Mallard, uh, ready for nice. some water slides, some yes, diving boards. So uh, always beautiful golf course out there, yes. too. And we've had great weather, and it makes you start thinking about pool weather when it you're does. sitting in the 80s like we were yesterday. yesterday yeah. 80s coming today as well as tomorrow. Now, next weekend, we go right back into the 60s. In fact, by Sunday of next week, some of you might not even make it to 60 degrees. Believe it or not, April, it could throw a lot at you. You get some big temperature swings, some very warm days like yesterday. The weekend was fantastic. Today and tomorrow will be very warm days. Out the door, temperatures are in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. DeKalb County, really the only one seeing 40s at the moment. Maybe just a light jacket needed out the door. Beautiful start to the week today, though. We'll see a lot of sun early before more clouds push in by the afternoon and evening, but still topping out around 82, 83, maybe up to 84 degrees. More 80s coming for your Tuesday. Cloud cover starts to push in. You'll be mostly cloudy, if not even overcast. It will look kind of gloomy out there, but we should stay dry for the most part. Maybe late tomorrow evening, a few isolated showers. We've got that weakening cold front coming through the area. It will drop in from the northwest sometime Wednesday morning into the afternoon. That cold front will trigger some scattered showers, potentially a few embedded storms. The question is, will those storms be stronger in nature, producing isolated damaging wind gusts as well as the possibility of some hail, most of it likely pea size, but maybe up to severe hail being quarter size. There are some questions with that more of a conditional threat at this time. Keep checking back for the latest, but then we get the big cool down. It's actually a second cold front that comes in Thursday night into Friday, and I mentioned weekend temperatures back in the 60s, so we go from mid 80s to maybe not hitting 60 by Sunday. Big changes coming. Here's a look indicator fly breeze camera. A little chop out there and that is from boat traffic. Not so much the breeze. Very calm conditions at the moment. Look at your beautiful Monday sunrise. Only thing we could really complain about over the past weekend as well as the next couple of days and weeks probably. It's the tree pollen in the extreme category. Even with the showers and storms on Wednesday, still in the high category, of course, rainfall, precipitation, the best way to clear the air of the pollens and particulates you have out there. 40s, 50s, 60s, 54 Pulaski, 59 Huntsville, 58 indicator. Monday traffic headaches, no weather related concerns here. Just watch out for the students heading to the bus stop as well as those school buses. Increasing clouds later on, not a whole lot of wind today. One of our calmer days we've seen as of late and do make sure you're wearing your sunscreen this time of year is you can get a pretty pretty bad sunburn on a day like today if you're out there not wearing any sunscreen. Isolated showers and cloudy tomorrow. A bit more of a breeze as well. 78 there Wednesday of the day bringing our best chances of rain showers and potentially some of those isolated storms. The rain should hold off until late tomorrow evening overnight into Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning's commute. We're tracking that cold front coming in. Some light to moderate showers. Maybe a few of those embedded storms in the mix producing that threat for some wind gusts as well as some hail. Here's your seven and now 10 day forecast. Look at the temperature dip by this coming weekend back in the 60s. Don't forget Saturday Jones Valley Ace Hardware. We're out there from 8 to 2 programming weather radios.